peeps, it's Ben and Chrissy, your Cabin and Cardaries, and welcome back to a different Very kind different of video. video today. We are at Racewell. It's nothing to do with cars, well it is. Exeter for a little go-karting session. And We're Ben's excited. gonna uh, be losing today. Well, we thought we'd vlog it, I thought we'd film it. Having a tattoo on his rear. Basically, Chris has stupidly put a bet on saying that whoever wins our race. Yes. He's got to get uh, the CCD Knuckle Duster tattooed on their arse cheek. So I thought, fuck it, we'll vlog it, shall we? Yeah. Might as well. I mean, it's 15 of us, two groups, and yeah, so we'll film what we can. Obviously, I'm not, we're not strapping GoPros to helmets and shit like that, but no, no, we'll it's going to be no, a good laugh, and the outcome will basically be what everyone wants to see, won't it? You yeah. get the tattoo on your ass. Chris Rackers is beating me, which is just ridiculous. He's already chose an ass cheek, so what does that tell you? Yeah, well, I've got a dimple on my, my left, so I thought I'd put it on the one without the dimple. <laughs> yeah, let's, let, let me give you a little sneaky, sneaky bit. There's some of the gang. We've got like a few from the car club, haven't we? We have a couple yeah. from the car club, yeah. a few work uh, workmates. Uh, uh, Rachel and Rachel Kaylee are doing it. As well, so, that's good. so yeah, let's, let's see if we have a little sneaky in here. Then. Yeah. Not supposed to really, but yeah, look. There's a bit of the track. The big hump. So yeah, exciting times. That's the ramp that I'm going to Yeah. Then so we've got. I've set up groups basically so that we and Chrissy are in the same group because yeah. you will get two races, but the first race will determine the tattoo the on the tattoo. butt cheek. So we'll check back in when we get inside. Exciting. <laughs> Briefing, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Exciting! Here's the track. There we can beat Chrissy's ass. So here we are. We're at Race World. Uh, yeah, Ben's got this strange thing that he thinks he's going to beat me and I know it's going to be close because it's only like one second in our previous time for like four years ago putting a trap like this is, you know, quite a lot so I've got quite a bit of, uh, a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie but I know what Ben's like under pressure so we shall see Everyone's got their helmets Let's see what size pussy is there he is, look. there he is, the main rival. Oh, he's a double XL. Shut up. Size are you, Chrissy? Guess what? Size are you? Medium. <laughs> it was the sound of bro. <laughs> that just means you've got loads of brains. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, I've just got a fat head. It's like a ninja. Look at him there, fresh. What would your racing name be? Huh? What would your racing name be? Look at this, look. I don't know what this is. I think you've, I think you've, got, I think you've got your tassel. Got your tassel coming through the front, look. <laughs> like a predator. <laughs> My racing name? Yeah. The uh, exterminator. Oh, look at that racer, racer girl. Nice. Race to do that like a bit like a ninja. Sneeze I'm worried about. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, don't. We we'll get demonetised. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Chris, if I need help, I just laugh. <laughs> you can see. Let me straight over. 
Do that when you get past Ben's, you crash. Should <laughs> <laughs> be concentrating too much to be thinking about that. Right then, guys and girls, it's Benji, your commentator for this evening. Right, let's explain things. There is two groups, basically, on your screens right now. Group one, Colin, Scott, Dave, Mark, Chris, Andy, Ash, and Neil. Group two, me, Chrissy, Rachel, Kaylee, Harvey, Korean, and Dez. Both groups get 10 minute quality and a 10 minute practice before quality. And then the fastest times out of the qualities then gets turned into a fast group A and a slower group B. So we shall see how we get on in quality. Hopefully I'll be Chrissy and he ends up getting a tattoo on his arse cheek. So yeah, we didn't really feel much of quality, but I will stick all the times of that up on the screen. But first things first, we need to meet the drivers. then that was extremely close as you can see group one qualifiers dave out in front in first place with 28.775 extremely quick scott in second chris third neil fourth fifth colin sixth ash mark seventh and the eighth group two my chrissy's group des smashing it with a 28.773 and he took the best time out of both qualifying groups. I came up in second with a 29.7, was super chuffed to get under 30. Harvey third, Chrissy in fourth, Korea in fifth, Rachel sixth, and Kaylee seventh. So let's take a look. Now the groups will be mixed up into the fast group and the slower group and see who is where on the grid and who's getting that tattoo on their ass. Right then, here we go. I took pole for Group B, so we were the slightly slower group. Harvey very close in second. Andy in third. Chrissy all the way down in fourth. Korean fifth. Rachel sixth. And Kaylee seventh. So that is the starting grid for Group B. And it's all or nothing, baby. But let's watch the race. Right there, ladies and gents, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Here I come. Pole position, Benji boy, worn up my tyres. Apparently that does absolutely nothing. Harvey, an extremely close second on the grid. Next up, we got Andy, who improved massively the whole time that we were there. Heading up the second row in third place. Chrissy, bringing up in fourth. So that's the two front rows. And then we've got Korean rocking up in fifth place. And then we got the lovely Rachel driving in to a sixth place qualifier position. And then, as always, we're waiting for Kaylee. I think she had issues with her car or something. We couldn't get her going. But she is on the way. Top four cars, front row and second row, extremely close. So this should make for a good race. Harvey was much quicker than anyone anticipated, especially myself. Can Chrissy get from fourth through to first? Who knows? 
we shall find out who's going to be getting that tattoo on their butt cheek also Chrissy put a bet on with Harvey of 20 pounds who's going to win the 20 quid Wee, here she comes at long last bringing up the rear here we go then watching for the lights four lights when they go out we are off Oh, Kaylee a bit offline there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five lights. And they're off. God, Harvey just got a slightly better start than me. I still just, just managed to hold first position coming around the top corner. Straight into this very tight corner. I just managed to hold on to first place. It is extremely hard work in these carts as well. Hurt your arms. Hitting the apex lovely. Both of us, Harvey hot on my heels Andy not too far behind and Chrissy very hot on Andy's heels as well over the bridge round the tight left underneath the bridge I'm still just holding on to first place Harvey is hot on my heels going along the start finish straight not really many changes Korean has dropped down actually oh Harvey takes me Harvey takes first place away from me I am hot on his heels Lovely manoeuvre that was from Harvey. I am hunting him down. Harvey and me pulling away very slightly from the pack. Chrissy's now up into third place. Harvey's slightly starting to pull away, but I am not letting him go anywhere. Let me see where the others are. Chrissy's still rocking up in third place, keeping up. Korean in fourth, Rachel in fifth, Katie in sixth. Not too sure that was in last place. That might have been Korean. I believe Korean was having car issues as well. Which did not help him at all. I'm still hunting Harvey down. It is so close. And it was so close. Practice. Quali. We were like two, three tenths of a second apart. Oh, okay. Lee spun it. Yellow flags are waving. <clears throat> Gives me a little bit of a chance to maybe catch, make some ground on Harvey. Kaylee getting pulled out of the barriers. You have to slow down on the yellows, obviously, for safety reasons, so you don't mow down the marshals or crash. Harvey's slightly pulling away from me now, but I'm still hunting him down. Over the bridge. The gap is getting very, very, very slightly bigger. He's almost the whole length of the start finish straight in front of me now. At this point, I was literally talking to myself in my helmet. Just saying, bide your time. There's no rush. It's a 20 lap race. There's traffic coming up. Pick your point and overtake in traffic. That was the plan anyway. So I'm slightly gaining on Harvey now. Very, very slightly. Knowing that Kaylee's coming up. Kaylee's just coming under the bridge there. Harvey's gaining on her very quickly. About the same sort of distance. Nearly the length of the start finish straight. But lots and lots of traffic coming up. As I said, this is a 20 lap race. My God, it takes it out of you. Doesn't look like you're going that fast, but it hurts. Here we go. Harvey is hot on the heels of Kaylee now. She is being lapped. Me and the green cart following behind, gaining very slightly on Harvey. Korean down in last place. No, Korean's not in last place. Kaylee's in last place. Korean had major cart issues. Here we go. Harvey catching up with Kaylee now. This was my point. This was the chance. He's slow. She's slowing Harvey up ever so slightly. Harvey just goes for it. Changes his mind. Slots back behind Kaylee. The whole time I'm getting closer and closer and closer to Harvey. Now I am right on his bumper. Traffic helping me massively. Korean struggling with his car. Look how much I've gained on him because of the traffic. The race is back on. Oh, span it. I don't, I'm not too sure who that was. Who have we got? Looks like Korean being lapped. Then you've got Harvey. Then you've got Chrissy. Then you've got Kaylee. I can't quite see. Was it me that spam? I think I did spin. So we've got Harvey. Oh no, and then me. So I'm still hot. So we've got past the back markers. And I am now hunting Harvey down 
again. Yellow flags again. Not too sure who that was. Probably Kaylee. Yeah, you can just see her in the top left corner of the screen. She spun out on start, finish straight. I am now hot on Harvey's heels once again. Back over the bridge, round the tight left hander, trying to hit that apex to get as much speed as we can. Going along the start, finish straight. I am so hungry for this win. At this point, I'm not too sure where Chrissy is. I think Chrissy was went from third back to fourth position. I want to say thanks to Neil as well for filming this. Because it's difficult to film everyone all at once with just the one GoPro. Harvey hitting that apex perfectly. We were so close, me and Harvey, the entire time. All improving on our lap times every time we went out. But there is nothing in it. I'm just biding my time again, knowing that there is lots of traffic coming up. Lots of traffic coming up. I think that's Kaylee again in front. I am so close to Harvey now, look. Coming around that tight, hitting the apex. I try and go on the outside and have a little look, change my mind, slot back inside. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting, trying to make Harvey make a mistake or hoping that Kaylee makes a mistake, which hinders Harvey's race. I try and take it on the inside. I get stuck and Harvey starts pulling away. Get wedged against the barrier. And Harvey gains a lot of time there. So again, I'm on the hunt, chasing it down. I think Chrissy's dropped down into fourth place now. Harvey's slightly pulling away. It is so, so close between me and Harvey. There's Rachel coming around now. Chrissy hot on Rachel's heels. Oh, I spin it. I spun it. Harvey is pulling away. Too much throttle. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much throttle coming out of that corner. Allowing Harvey to gain so much time on me. I was livid. Banging my helmet in rage. Shouting at myself inside the helmet. I know it's only go-karting. But my God. Do you get into it. The adrenaline starts pumping. And you want to win. Harvey easily three or four seconds in front of me now. Again, it's that top corner. I just could not get that top corner right. The cart did not feel as good as the cart in quality. There wasn't as much grip. I know it's not an excuse, but... Harvey pulling away. as Chrissy just coming under the bridge. Korean. Harvey, again, hitting the back markers. Such a short track. Like 29 second laps me and Harvey were doing. So that is nothing. So a couple of seconds on a 29 second lap is a lot. Harvey literally having the drive of his life. He was so focused, so concentrated. He wanted this so bad. At this point, Chrissy not really in the mix, quite far down. Oh, I've now got a back marker between me and Harvey. I think it's Korean. I'm gaining ever so slightly. But knowing that Harvey has now got Chris in front of him and I've got Korean in front of me. Two back markers that we need to get past. There is no blue flags in Carton. So it is a huge advantage to the person behind if you've got a back marker in front of you because they can slow you up massively. Harvey pulling away ever so slightly now. But like I said, back markers make all the difference. I need to get past Korean. I think I did there, yep. So I've cleared my back marker. Harvey is now coming up to Chris. There's me now hitting that apex. Harvey and Chris just coming over the bridge. I'm just hoping that Chris can hold Harvey up somehow. Because I am quite a way back after that spin. On that first corner earlier on in the race. right on Chris's heels now, he needs to get past Chris, he needs to make that space then Chris spins it, Harvey hits him, I go round the outside and I take the lead, just, it is so close, Chrissy makes a mistake, forces Harvey into the side of him, 
I see the mistake, I go around the outside, and I take the lead. Harvey is not happy at all. Two laps to go now. This is the penultimate lap. I am just, just in front. But I can see Kaylee. Kaylee is in front of me. I need to get past Kaylee. And I think you've got Corinne in front of Kaylee. There's two back markers coming around over the bridge. About to start the final lap with two back markers in front of us. Harvey is so, so close to me. Putting the pressure on. Final lap now. Around the first corner for the final time. I can see Kaylee in front of me. And I'm just hoping and praying that she gets out of the way. There is so much on this. So much pressure. Kaylee comes around to the chicane. And she spins it. I hit into the front of her. Harvey does exactly what I did. Tries to go around the outside. I come around. Harvey hits the barrier. I slip just in front of him. Harvey waves his hand a bit there in rage. I come around the final corner for the last time. Under the bridge. And somehow... Hand in the air, take the win. Harvey in second place. Andy in third. Chris in fourth. Rachel in fifth. Corey in sixth. And Kaylee seventh. What a race that was. And there we have it. There are the official finishing results. I started in pole and somehow managed to just pretty much on the last lap take the win. Harvey in extremely close second. Andy doing very well. Holding third away from Chris. Chrissy finishing in fourth. Rachel gaining the position and finishing fifth. Korean losing a position finishing sixth. And Kaylee starting and finishing in seventh. What a race that was. You can see by the top four drivers that there was nothing in it really. Between me and Harvey, what, what is that? three one thousandth of a second between us extremely close great race very happy with the result and even more happy that Chrissy is getting a tattoo on his ass and has to hand over 20 quid to Harvey let's get on to race two right then so here we have the grid positions for group A the faster group of the two Taking pole, we have Dez, it's very close behind. There was literally a Rizzler paper in it. Dave, Scott third, Chris fourth, Neil fifth, Colin sixth, As seventh, bring up the rear, Marky Mark in eighth. Let's watch the Group A race. Here we go. Right then, ladies and gents, here we go. This is the Group A final race. So these are the faster of the two groups they split them up I guess to make it a bit more even and it was very very close so as said previously we have Dez on pole position and literally one one thousandth of a second behind was Dave, Scott in third Chris in fourth, fifth Neil sixth Colin, seventh Ash and eighth Mark this should be a very good race indeed there's the last two just coming up now onto the grid Des and Dave both extremely fast putting nearly the best times of the week here we go then looking for the five lights then they go out and we begin racing two three four five lights and they're off Amazing start from Dave there. Coming around the first corner, it takes the wider line. Des on the inside line. Des is fighting so hard to hold Dave off. He just manages to get that first corner in before Dave. And they are so, so close. One mistake from either of these two will literally cost them the race. Dave is hot on Des's heels. Not many changes in the back just yet. I think Chris may have lost a place coming under the bridge along the start finish straight Des holding his own out in front from starting in pole position comes around that top corner Des very very slightly slides it there opening a little bit of a gap for Dave Dave does not manage to pass he's just biding his time he is literally bumper rubbing him all the way Scott still in third Chris still in fourth I believe it's very hard to see who is who 
there's still just just hang on to the lead Dave is breathing all over him coming around that start finish straight again not much changes in the back looks like Mark is still in 8th place but Des makes that mistake Des slides at the top there and leaves the door open for Dave and Dave slips through into 1st place leaving Des in 2nd Chris looking like he's still in 3rd I think Colin is in 4th very very hard to tell we've got yellow flags out i'm not too sure that is i think it's ash ash has spun it allowing the pack to slightly bunch up a little bit and that has put him massively behind hugely behind unfortunately the yellow flags have gone green lights are on we're back racing this does mean now though that because of that spin by ash that dave is going to be coming up to a back marker already because Ash is nearly a lap down already. Dave's just managing to hold the lead off from Des. As I said, they're coming around that top first corner now, very quickly approaching Ash, who is the back marker, really trying to see who what is going on behind, but obviously filming and figuring out what the hell's going on are two different things. Back under the bridge now. Dave getting ever closer to Ash, the back marker, to lap him. I think that's Chris coming through there. Marky Mark, I think, is in seventh place still. Dave has got past the back marker already. He does not hang around. Des is now looking to do exactly the same so he doesn't get held up. He tries to take him around the outside. He's not having it. Dave is pulling further and further away. Des just cannot get past him. Cannot get past the back markers. That is a win or lose situation as we found in our race. The back markers play a huge part in what happens out in front. Dave getting a bit of a slide on there. Des has now got past the back marker. Scott is now trying to do exactly the same Scott I think in the yellow cart Dave is pulling away more and more Des trying his best Scotty there holding his own in third Chris I think is still in fourth Colin fifth Mark sixth I think there we go this is the tricky one it's where I always struggled over the bridge Dave's still pulling away further and further and further into the lead. He's very composed, Dave. Once he's out of the way and <clears throat> he's in clear air, he's basically unstoppable, him and Des. Driver of the day, I think, well, it would be between Des and Dave, I think. But then I think Andy, given that he... I think qualified last in his group but his time put him in a better position in our group because he was in the slower group of us lot obviously and for him to finish third I think was very 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 good so back to the race back over the bridge again Dave is ever pulling out I'm not sure what Kaylee's doing there looks like she's having a fit Dave coming through Des is still hunting him down Scott coming around the back there, coming up to back markers, just under the bridge, I think that's Scott there. Comfortably sat in third, not anyone anywhere near him to cause him any issues or any problems, I wouldn't think. That one slip up from Dez on that first corner, lost in that position. Yellow flags are out, not quite sure why or for who. Who's that? Someone has crashed on that first corner. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. That is going to have a big upset on someone if it was one of the front runners. I think it was Chris who was running in fourth place this whole time and he might have just lost that. But we shall see. It's so hard to see who's who. I think it was Des now being held up by a back marker. 
makes such a difference when you run up to traffic. It's so hard to pass on this track because obviously all the carts are the same. Dave easily passed in there through Chris. Des has now got past Mark, the back marker. And I think has Chris in front of him now. There's Des there, yep, he's got Chris in front of him. Mark running, I believe, in seventh place. Scott having a very, very composed race. In third place, no one's. He can't quite catch Des and Dave, but no one can seem to catch him, so I think that'll be quite an easy third place podium for Scott. Des still pushing as hard as he can. Some good battles going on in this this race. It's just really hard to figure out who the hell is who. That's Des there coming up, I believe, onto Chris, who spun out earlier in the race and is going to be now be slowing up Des, who is trying to catch the leader, Dave, who has just crossed the start finish line. Let's see. Yep, Des is still behind, but running in second place. Des and Dave during quali were so, so close. I would actually quite like to watch just those two go at it on a racetrack because they are very very close in times like I said I think there was one thousandth of a second between Des and Dave's time to always go down on the inside he thinks about it and he changes his mind and nearly loses the front end then too but manages to hold on to it over the bridge not quite sure who these two are he goes on the inside under the bridge is he going to take him takes the wider line that's Chris and Ash again Chris taking the wider line through that top corner Ash holding down the inside line can Chris get the cut back he can't quite get past Ash great battle this oh and he overcooks the corner Chris slides right past as Ash drifts into the barrier nearly and allows Chris an easy pass on that chicane that race can literally be won or lost on that chicane. Final lap now, I believe, coming up to the checkered flag. Des still holding second place. Dave running away in first place. Checkered flag's out. Dave takes the win. Des second place. Scotty, an easy, easy drive in third. Colin fourth. Chris fifth. Neil sixth. Mark 7th and 8th Ash <laughs> So there we have it that is the official result of the group A race the faster group of the two and they are a lot faster dave taking the win from second place there's dropping down to second from first scotty staying in third for the entire race colin making up a couple of positions and finishing in fourth chris losing a position and finishing in fifth neil losing two positions i believe finishing in sixth mark gaining position finishing in seventh and ash losing a position and finishing in eighth Another fantastic race and a massive well done to all the drivers. I'm going to read out both the results from both races, all right? So a big round of applause as I read out the names. Um, finishing in final one, in seventh today, with the best lap of 31.8. Three laps down on the lead, give it up to Kaylee. Woo all right. In sixth today, with a best lap of 32.4, two laps down on the lead. Korean Ian. <laughs> uh, in fifth, uh, 31.3 best lap. Lap down on the lead, Mummy Stig. <laughs> in fourth, just off the podium, and we'll be sporting a new tattoo soon. <laughs> with the best lap of 
30.4, a lap down on the lead. Give it up for Stig. Cheers. Thank you. How long ago, Dave? Your top three then in that um, in that first final with a 30.9 best lap, 26 seconds off the lead in 13. Andy. Very good drive. Very good drive. Yeah. Awesome. Second. 30 flat best lap, three and a half seconds off the lead. It was a close finish in cart six. Harvey. Arguable. It was very close. Controversy, I think the drive through penalty. Which means your yeah. winner in that first final with a 30 flat best lap, three 100 slower than Harvey. So Harvey actually got the fastest lap in that session. Well done, dude. But taking the win regardless, <laughs> Bowden! <laughs> 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 Obviously, tattoo three on his ass. <laughs> or, or not, mate. Um, right then. Can I just stand on it real quick? Moving. Yeah, good. Moving quickly yeah. on there. Moving quickly on to the Super P5 2. So, here we go. Big round of applause as we'll read out the names again. Yeah. Finishing eighth in today with a 29.9 best lap, 30 flat best lap, three laps Wait. off the lead. Give it up for Ash. Three. Right on that. Slower to the fast off. It's how you'll be remembered for that. In seventh, with a 30.2 best lap, two laps off the lead, Mark! In sixth tonight, with a 28.9 best lap, we're into the 28s already. Lap off the lead, Neil! <laughs> Was it to be? Um, in fifth tonight, with a 29.5 best lap, uh, 29 seconds off the lead on the same lap, Christopher. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, just missing out on a podium place this evening. Uh, 29 flat best lap, 20 seconds off the lead, part 13. Could have been unlucky, I think it was. Colin! Very good. Very good. Your top three then are as follows. We're under, uh, yeah, it gets quite tight at the top, doesn't it? The 28 eight best lap in cart number one, 13 seconds off the lead, Scotty! <laughs> and, and that all, the three. Ooh. Don't be shy. Take the gold. Is it going yeah. to yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't say which. Thanks for the crowd, here we go. Well done. Congratulations. In second this evening then. It was very closely fought at the front. I was watching some of it myself. I think maybe he got stuck behind traffic at some point. Mm. Uh, but it is what it is. 28.5 best lap, very quick lap time. Seven seconds off the lead, Dez. <laughs> oh, no worries, that's close. That means your ultimate winner this evening of the event with the fastest lap time of the event, 28.422. Give it up, please. Cart 14, David. Congratulations, this is yours. You. you know what to do. Give it a squirt. Stand well back. No, mate, take the sting out the tattoo. Spray it, spray it, spray it. Oh, I can't do it. Don't mind that. Get over there and do it. <laughs> you have to. No, no, what are you doing? Have you never opened a bar? No, I don't. I've never done it. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah. Then pop it.
cock. <laughs> so Chris had two bets on today. One was with Harvey that he'd beat him for 20 quid and he lost. And the other one was with me to get his head right. on his ass too. Pick a, pick I'm going to pick that one. <laughs> Hi guys. Well, there we go, guys. We're that home. that, that was the Carbon and Car Diaries do race world in Exeter. It was so much fun, mate. It was decent. I lost. On Twice. <laughs> Why? I don't know how I'm going to edit this. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try and edit it as good as I can, so I hope it was good. Yeah, but yeah, of course he Chris was. had a bet of Harvey, it was 20 quid, and Harvey Harvey beat him. surprised everybody, he I think, with his time. He was quick. I think that I need to lose a bit of timber, I think <laughs> that will make a big difference to my times. But I don't think it will, mate. I think it's more about just knowing the track and just being better in the mate, apexes and to, the breaking I'm zones. Don't make excuses here. Well, don't make excuses. You lost to Harvey and you lost 20 quid. And. Yeah. He's got to get the CCD knuckle duster on his butt cheek and ben is actually forever. And Ben has chosen the butt cheek. I'm allowed to choose the butt cheek and choose the colour. So uh, we'll make that a Saturday snippet. Of that will be out, a video. It's not going to be in this video. This big silverback's ass being <laughs> fucking tattooed. Lovely. My tattooist is already confirmed that he's more than happy to, to tattoo either of our butt cheeks. And it just so happens it's Chrissy. But to be fair, Ben's thinking about having it done just for shit. So yeah, I might do. Yeah. I might. Yeah. <laughs> If I get it there, get it on my leg. Ooh, very nice. Right, yeah. Very nice. Get it on my forehead. But anyway, we just thought, you know, something yeah, different amazing. for you guys. And, it you know, was, and it was so much fun. Not and so much car related, obviously. So. No, and I, I don't know what the footage came out like because it's difficult to film because you, you've got one spot, really, where you, two spots where you can watch it. Yeah. So yeah. We tried to film it from, uh, I think it was Neil that filmed us racing, so thank you, Neil. Thank you very much, Neil. I filmed them racing in uh, mine and Harvey's battle. I'm actually looking forward to watching back because it was. Intense. My lovely other half, Kaylee, <laughs> literally wiped you out. Literally wiped me out and ruined my race for me, but never mind. Brilliant. There you go. Well, and <laughs> Andrew as well. He was a bit of a dark horse, getting very, third on the yeah, podium. very. But literally, that our race finished in our in in the grid. Pretty much, yeah. In no, I think grid. it did. So yeah, it did. But yeah, well, you'll see that. I'm going to try and do put all the text on the screens after the races as to, and the qualities and all that sort of shit, but. It was really good fun. We're going to do it again, definitely. Definitely do it again. Very good. So thank but you to everybody that came. Yeah, thank well you with. to everybody that came along. And uh, yeah, it's good. Awesome. On to the next one. Defo. Thank, thank you to all the new subscribers. Yep. Ticking away, as always. Ticking away very nicely. Although the fucking um, YouTube studio has been a bit of a dick at the minute and it's not telling us exactly what subscribers we've got, so I don't really know what we're on. Ooh. YouTube's saying we're over 2,000... 230 odd, I think. Yeah, more 220 than odd. More than I can't remember. Oh, but anyway. Anyway, we're shit chatting. Um, but yeah, so I'm not so sure, but there's, we've had loads over the last week. We've had yeah, a fair yeah. few, mate. So thank you all very much. Thank you all, ever so much. Thank you to Danny, sponsor of the channel. Always, As Danny, man. Always. As Tax always. Racing. Get all your discount codes for all the others. We see this every time. You know the drill, guys and girls. Do, uh, the drill. If you don't follow us on drill. Instagram, it's here. Oh, if you don't follow us on Facebook, it's here. <laughs> and from one pole position starting winning champion, to from one to fourth, losing 20 quid less, uh, tattoo of the butt cheek, Chrissy Whistle. Whistle. Oh, we love you all. We'll see you on the next video. video. Peace out. Bye bye.